Good morning, my creative friends, and welcome to Painting in Your PJs with Manette. This is Dr. Manette Riordan, <clears throat> and I am here most mornings at 7 a.m. Mountain Time painting in my PJs. Super happy to be here this month. <clears throat> Sorry, definitely allergy season here in Colorado. My froggy voice will go away in a few minutes. Um, but I'm super happy to be here this month talking about how to use affirmations as prompts in your art journal and how to make affirmations work for you. Like what is the true power, purpose, and intention behind an affirmation? So that's kind of what we're working on this week. I'm going to take a sip of water. And I had pulled a bunch of affirmations to play with and I was just sort of flipping through them and thinking about <clears throat> what do I want to work with today. And the one that jumped out at me was, I won't lose sleep over what I can't control. I won't lose sleep over what I can't control. And I love this affirmation. And then I thought about this cute coloring book that I had bought a few weeks ago when I was in Asheville, North Carolina. And um, I'm still doing my 100-day project of 100 days of artsy animals. And I thought, well, these would be super fun to do some collage with. And I had already colored and cut some of them out. Some are colored pencils, some are markers. But, you know, cats don't lose sleep over much of anything, do they? And so I thought it would be cute to collage this silly kitty here. And these flower patterns almost remind me of wings. And so I'm wondering if maybe this kitty is going to get some wings. He may too, be too big, but we're going to fussy cut him out in a bit. But I wanted to put my handwriting on the page. I started this page. This is the backside of yesterday's sacred circle design. I started with black gesso because I just wanted that richness and that little bit more drama on the page and so I started to write I won't lose, lose sleep over what I can't control. I often find myself awake at night with those worries spinning around in my head and it felt important to just maybe talk about this a little bit and work our way through why are we lying awake with these thoughts circling around in our head. And welcome, Blanca. Good morning. Welcome. If you're joining me live, so happy to have you here. If you're joining me for the replay, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you like what I'm up to today. And we're focusing on, you know, losing sleep because of worry and anxiety. And those thoughts start to spin in our head. This usually happens to me personally around 3.30 in the morning where all of a sudden all those thoughts are just flowing around in my head like crazy and I can't go back to sleep. And I have to, like my thing I do is I might put in an audio meditation or I might put in an audio book, just something to replace the thoughts in my head. And oftentimes nothing is wrong, right? And there's really not anything necessarily to be worried about, but my head just gets into this sort of spinny mode, right? And so I'm just having some fun. This is a Stabilo Marks All pencil in white. It's water soluble, so it's going to disappear. But just feeling the need to maybe do a little scribbling. Scribbling is a great way to release anxiety and get some of those worries out. There's nothing to do here but just move some of that energy out of us but i love this particular affirmation i won't lose sleep over what i can't control and oftentimes when i find myself awake at night i am you know i'm worrying about my kids good morning judy i'm worried about you know things that are completely out of my control and it's something that humans have a habit of doing or we're spending all of our time reflecting backwards and you know worrying about the future instead of being present in the moment and to me cats are those they don't lose sleep over anything right and so I thought I would just start this morning 
with just playing with some paint. The, the black is going to be pretty transparent. And so I just asked myself, what color is worry? You know, what's causing me to lose sleep? And so what came to me this morning was yellows and oranges and sort of that, you know, chaotic color. They're very vibrant colors. You know, it's like the lights are shining, the neighbor's lights are shining in the window and you can't sleep because it's too bright. It's kind of that feeling, right? That there's something that's causing us to stay awake at night. Good morning, Yvonne. And I'm going to have a pretty short video this morning because I have an appointment at 8 o'clock and I need to get cleaned up for that. And I'm just going to use this page over here to clean my brush off and use up that extra paint on my palette. Who knows what will end up over there. But the first thing that felt important was just to be putting some color on the page, starting to think about what is it that keeps me awake at night. And also, the other thing I love about this affirmation, I won't lose sleep over what I can't control, is that it makes us think about what am I worrying about that is outside of my control. And it makes me think of Stephen Covey's seven habits, right? And about thinking, you know, letting go of what's outside our sphere of influence and how often we fall into worry about things that we can't control or things that don't matter or things that are other people's to worry about and yet we still, we get caught up, right? We get really caught up in worrying. And so when I think about I won't lose sleep over what I can't control, it makes me think about the things that I'm worrying about and really gauging, is this in my control or not? Can I change this? Like, you know, when I worry about a family member, my spouse, or one of my kids, if I'm, you know, worrying about one of my clients, <coughs> excuse me, what happens is that most of those are not things inside of my control. I can only control my own feelings and reactions, my own responses. I don't have control over anyone else, as much as I'd like to think that I do, especially my kids, right? But it's so easy to be in worry over my kids. So I'm just continuing what is in my control. If I just sit with that question and what is not in my control, and you guys know I love scratching through the paint. So I just start to make, I'm making a really big mess on this page, and this is how it feels when I'm awake at, you know, 3, 3.30 in the morning, my head is spinning, I don't know where I'm going, right? I don't even, you know, I'm not present to what it is that's keeping me awake. I just know I'm caught in a cycle of worry. One of the other things that can really put me into that cycle of worry and keep me up at night is um, money, right? Like if I think, oh, things aren't going well and I don't know where that next client is coming from, then I can get really caught up. in worry and that can keep me awake for a really long time so there's a few things and then there's some nights when i'm just awake with creative ideas but there just seems to be a lot of time when i find myself worried about nothing and everything there's been a lot to worry about in the world around us lately right there's definitely been a lot to worry about in the world around us lately and uh it's easy to get caught up in what's happening in politics, what's happening with COVID, what's happening with the economy. I was at a, a couple of different events week before last where business leaders were talking about the economic uncertainty that's out there right now. And that can create a lot of worry for people even if your own finances are fine, right? The, everyone starts talking about recessions and we all start to panic. Yvonne, it's so true, especially with adult children. Oof, it's a tricky one. So I am still just playing with paint, making a big old 
crazy mess here because that's how it feels when we're losing sleep over what we cannot control. And sometimes part of my morning art activation process, what we're now calling MAP, is this idea of writing to a prompt or an affirmation. Using an affirmation as a prompt is super powerful. Or an oracle card or just asking ourselves powerful questions, right? But writing through that, then painting through it, it allows me to bring image and symbol and color to that whirling, swirling feelings of emotion floating around within. And by the time I'm done, I always feel more calm than when I started. And this page, like I don't like this page at all. It feels ugly, it feels chaotic. This is what it feels like to be awake in the middle of the night for sure. And so part of me is wanting to just push all of that paint back and calm it down, push it back, calm it down, right? And again, just following that flow, trusting that process. I love when black and yellow blend, right? They create these really cool greens. And over here, where the page is white, it's so interesting. This one feels sunny and bright. Feels like the marigolds that are blooming in my yard right now. Completely different feelings, starting with the white background and starting with the black background. A lot more drama and insanity happening here. Just clean that off well. All right, so I'm going to let that dry for a second, and I'm going to cut out this cute little kitty cat that I colored a while back. And I love using coloring pages in my art journal, right? Sometimes when I need something quick and fast, and I still do like coloring books. I love coloring our sacred circles. But this little kitty cat coloring book just jumped out at me. It was like a little 2 or $3 coloring book. Pretty cheap paper, very thin paper at the grocery store end cap, you know, with all the candy and mints and gum and all the other things those they try to get you with the magazines, those impulse purchases. Well, this was one of those impulse purchases. And I'm just doing a little fussy cutting here more or less cutting this kitty out, but I had fun sitting in front of the TV just relaxing and coloring these sweet little kitties. I'm also still working through my 100-day project. I got a little behind because I had my art retreat last week, so I'm like, okay, how can I sort of pull some of these things together? And I love how the kitty brightens up the page, but not bright enough, right? Not bright enough for sure. I love that little look on his face, almost like a look of surprise, right? A look of surprise. And again, I love this affirmation. I won't lose, lose sleep over what I can't control. So what I'm noticing is that this is uh, still feels dark. All those roiling feelings and emotions floating around in there. And that's not how I want to end this particular page, right? Like I want to end it in the positive of I won't lose sleep over what I can't control. And so to do that, I'm going to get this nice and dry. And then I'm going to put a layer of white paint over the top. So again, these layers, they're adding richness and depth of story to my art journal. And I'm just going to keep painting over it until I get to the point where I feel better but I had to paint through the muck before I could get to the, the positive and the ownership that this is true, right? That I'm not going to lose sleep over what I can't control. All right, let me see if I can find some white paint. I thought I grabbed the white paint this morning. I 
My studio is still in a little bit of disarray after a four days of having nine amazing ladies here to play in the studio for my retreat. And I definitely had a few sleepless nights before the retreat worrying about things like, will they like the food? Are they going to be okay going up and down the stairs to my studio? Are they going to be nice people? Are they going to get along with each other? Are they going to like the hotel that I picked? Like all things that are just completely out of my control. And of course, ultimately, everything went so well. Couldn't really have gone any better. And I love it still a little bit of uh, color peeking through under the page down there. And so one of the ways that I would sort of extend, right, the thoughtfulness or the inner work around this affirmation is to do a lot more journaling with what are the things that I'm worried about. And I would actually make a list of all the things I'm worried about because if I make a list, then I can see what's in my control and what's not. And if I don't see it in writing, what happens is it's just sort of spinning around in my head, right? And if it's spinning around in my head, I'm usually not taking any action, right, at all. And we haven't got the studio lights quite right. I notice I have a funny little shadow today. I'll have to get my hubby down here and help me get the studio lights all set up again. So this page, I can still see the black and the little bit of grungy peeking through, but all of a sudden that page is so much brighter, right? That page is so much brighter and happier, but still different than this one. There's a purity to this one that isn't here, but this is what I was going for this morning, right? This is what I was going for. And now our little kitty cat is going to pop out on that page because cats definitely represent that whole idea of I won't lose sleep over what I can't control. And I think that's so um, important to remember. So making a list of what you're worried about and then literally looking at that list and letting go of what you can't control and then making an action plan for what you can control, right? Sometimes we're sitting spinning in worry about the things we can control, but we're not actually doing anything to change it or make it better, right? We're simply worried about it. And what I know about worry and anxiety is we can sit and stew in it for a really long time, but when you get into some type of action, you instantly feel that anxiety easing. And that action could be taking some deep breaths until you feel a little more calm. It could be meditation. It could be going for a walk, usually my preferred way to ease anxiety and talk it over with my hubby. It could be, I think I'm going to put matte medium on this, but I don't know what's going to happen to these markers when I put matte medium on them, so let's just try it and see. Um, and for me, making art is another way that I can often paint my way through things that are challenging me. I can come down here in the morning and literally put my worries onto canvas. Everything starts to feel better. Oh, they're doing great. I thought they might uh, disappear a little bit, but they seem to be maybe smearing a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, that makes me happy. I just was, these are colored with just an inexpensive set of Michael's Artist Loft dual brush markers. Nothing fancy at all. Okay, I'm going to make sure my scraper is super clean. Grab a baby wipe here. And the reason I want to make sure this is super clean is that it's covered in that orange paint and the matte medium will activate any color that's on here and then it'll get all over my kitty cat. And normally I would just grab a, something clean to scrape with. Oh look, there's my, let's do that. 
I don't know how clean this one is either. So I'm putting matte medium on the page. I'm also going to put matte medium on the back of the kitty cat because this paper is very thin and I do want him to go down nice and smooth on the page. So matte medium on the surface and on my collage image. And he's pretty busy himself, right? But, you know, he's okay with that. Like, cats are amazing how they can sleep through just about anything. And I'm putting matte medium on the bottom and on the top. And we're going to go ahead and stick our affirmation down here. He may, and this may end up getting some color over the top. Let's see if we can avoid getting too much color on there. He's so cute. I love this kitty cat. So all of a sudden this page that felt like a lot of that, I can't sleep, I'm so worried, everything's bothering me. I can still see the depth and that grunginess around the edges, but now what I can also start to see is some release, some brightness, right? Just painting my way through all of those emotions. And it's interesting I chose this one because the uh, I slept well last night, and um, but I had crazy dreams. I can't tell you what they were, but I definitely had some crazy dreams last night. Get him nice and dry. I want to get that matte medium nice and dry. Might still feel a little bit sticky, but I think I want him to have maybe some almost fun little wing shapes. In the original coloring page, I loved this little shape here because it did remind me of wings. So I'm going to just add some of that back in here. This little angelic kitty here and it's so funny because my cat just came downstairs to check out and see what was going on you want to come say hi good morning i know diego was definitely the star of the show at the retreat he spent a lot of time down in the studio hanging out with everybody. And when we would have our gather in morning circle time, he would just go from lap to lap to lap, giving everybody some love, whether he was invited or not. Definitely he spent some time on the craft table checking everything out. Maybe we'll add a little bit of these sort of blooming branches in here as well. And coloring books are great. Don't dismiss coloring books as you start to make your own art. Sometimes you just need that quick and easy way to activate your creativity. They also make great collage fodder. Like I love taking old coloring book pages that haven't been colored and that I probably will never color and just tearing them up for collage. And I'm using a pen that I absolutely love. It is not permanent ink. It is water soluble, but it has a really nice flow to it. It's a food a ball and um, you can get them on Amazon. This is a 1.5, so it has a thick nib as you can see but it flows really nicely over the top of the acrylic. But once this is on here, then I will be done with the page, right? 
And maybe he needs some little stars up here. So even though I started with an already colored image inspired by a coloring book page, just kind of making this happy little page my own, I'm going to repeat this little floral mo motif, leafy motif up the other side over here. Again, just loving how this food a ball just flows really nicely over the acrylic ink, some little orbs or berries floating there. And so we have a cute, really simple little page. I'm looking for those things right now that, you know, come together in about 15 to 30 minutes because sometimes it's just all we have in the morning. We don't have tons of time. We don't have a whole hour to sit here in play. Sometimes we need some quick relief from sleepless nights and worry and anxiety and those emotions that are bugging us. And so looking for what's at hand that you can add to your art journal that's going to help you work through what it is that you're sitting with what are the things that are keeping you awake at night? So there's our super sweet kitty, and we're honoring the affirmation today. I won't lose sleep over what I can't control. I won't lose sleep over what I can't control. And it's definitely easier said than done, right? Definitely easier said than done. So that is it for today. I'm off to shower and get ready for my early morning call. Thank you, as always, for joining me live. Thank you for watching the replay. Please hit that like or subscribe button, and I will be back tomorrow morning. I may continue with my kitty cat theme. Hi, Romilly. Great to see you. I love using old coloring pages. Hey, Romilly, do you have the link to the Art of the Intuitive Mind right there at hand? I would love to stick it in here. Romilly is hosting an amazing summit that starts on Thursday, that starts on Thursday, called The Art of the Intuitive Mind. I am one of the guest speakers, and I'm honored to be a guest, but I am so excited about all the other amazing guests that Romilly is going to be interviewing and everyone is sharing a beautiful art practice. It's going to be super inspiring. So, so exciting. I know she's had almost a thousand people uh, come to gather and play with her here. So let's uh, hang on for a second and let her get that link in the chat for us. And uh, again, it starts Thursday. I can't wait. So if you're on my email list, probably already saw this and signed up already, but if you haven't signed up, here's that link for you. And Romley, I'll go back and put it in the description of the, of the video as well, but happy to have you drop that right here in our chat too. And I'm trying to decide what affirmation to do tomorrow, so I have a, a collection to choose from and maybe you guys can help me pick which one would be great um, and for me I'm looking at always those affirmations that are going to help me grow and move in the direction of my dreams so I'm looking at I must pursue peace within before I can find peace without I really love that one and then the other one that really is striking me this morning is the time for sitting around has passed I must act now the time for sitting around has passed. I must act now. So curious, any votes? Any votes on which one? Either peace within or the time for sitting around has passed. If you have a vote, you can type that in the comments below and let me know. I will go back and add the link to the Art of the Intuitive Mind to our description 
as well. And thank you guys, as always, for joining me. See you bright and early at 7 a.m. Oh, that's annoying, Romilly. I'll make sure I go back and share it in the in the description. I will get it in there. That's interesting. I didn't know it wouldn't let you share links um, in the comments. Good to know. All right, so I will make sure and get that link in there and make it happen. But have a beautiful rest of your day, everyone. And I want you to do some journaling. I won't lose sleep over what I can't control. I won't lose sleep over what I can't control. Do some journaling on what's keeping you awake at night right now or has got you gnawing on worry and anxiety during the day. Make a list and look at it because when you can see it in writing, then you can decide, can I control this or can I not? So many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful rest of your day. See you bright and early tomorrow morning. Bye-bye, everybody.